Hello everyone. Welcome back to Management Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss the classification of research design. We will go through a brief meaning of research design and see what all research approaches or design a researcher may follow. Before we begin, I would request you to please subscribe to our channel and motivate us to continue posting such videos. Now let's begin with our discussion. Let's first understand what a research design is. In marketing research, a researcher needs a roadmap, a framework, and this roadmap or framework is what a research design is. This roadmap or research design guides the researcher in how to conduct the marketing research project. A good research design will ensure that the project is conducted effectively and efficiently. With this brief meaning that a research design is a map or a framework which guides a researcher in conducting a market research project, let's discuss the classification of research design. A researcher may decide at a very broad level that the research design is of two types. One is exploratory or exploratory research design and the second one is conclusive or conclusive research design. As the name suggests, exploratory, in an exploratory research design, the researcher tries to explore things. So in an exploratory research design, the Research is or the research design is a bit flexible. It is unstructured. For example, a group of respondents being asked open ended questions. The sample size is small and the Findings of such a research are input to maybe conclusive research or an input to further research. When a researcher or an organization needs to explore or gain insight or knowledge before the research approach is decided, an exploratory research can be performed. Let's move on to conclusive research design. Conclusive research design is more formal, is well structured and the findings are used for managerial decision making. So these are final research which the manager looks at the output and the results, analysis, finding and takes managerial decisions. Now this conclusive research design can also be of two types. The first one is descriptive research. So as the name suggests, descriptive means describing. It is used for describing. So, let's say a researcher wants to describe the characteristics of a consumer group. Such kind of a research is done prior to formulation of hypothesis or a specific hypothesis has not been formed and let's say a characteristic of a consumer group like purchasers, non-purchasers, avid purchasers, young consumers any characteristic like this, a group of consumers have to be described. For such a case, a descriptive research can be used. It is used for describing, as the name suggests. Descriptive research can also be of two types. One is having a cross-sectional design. Or this descriptive research can be longitudinal in nature. 
in a cross sectional design the collection of data from a given sample of population element is done only once and in the case of longitudinal design repeated collection of information is done from a sample of people which are studied over time so such kind of research is useful in detection of change for example before and after a phenomena the same group of sample can be measured and understand and the researcher can understand the change such kind of research is also good as the amount of data which is collected can be more in this case this also seems to be more accurate as the same group of respondents are contacted again and the results or the data can be more accurate this cross sectional design can again be of two types this can be a single cross sectional design or a multiple cross sectional design in a single cross sectional design one sample is drawn from the target population and information is obtained only once so one sample and collection of data is done only once whereas in multiple cross sectional design two or more sample two or more samples of respondents are drawn and information from these samples are obtained only one so please remember the difference here there is only one sample drawn and here two or more samples are drawn but in both cases the information is collected only once whenever the information is collected more than once or the respondents are studied over time this is called a longitudinal design now if you see here another type of conclusive research remains let's discuss that so another type of conclusive research design apart from descriptive research is called causal research causal research is done to study cause and effect relationship evidence so for example there is one independent variable and one dependent variable and the effect which the independent variable causes to the dependent variable can be studied for example effect of employee behavior on customer satisfaction such kind of research when it's done where cause and effect relationship evidence is investigated is called causal research this was broadly a classification of research design we hope this video was helpful please do like share and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching management academy